Infrared light therapy is possibly the biggest breakthrough I've seen in pain management in more than 30 years of my practice. This amazing technology, which is called photonic stimulation, is something that passes infrared light at about 860 nanometers into the body, and it penetrates, according to NASA studies, by 10 inches. So you get great penetration. About 60% of the light goes 4 inches deep, and another 40% goes down to about 10 inches. So you can get to the areas where you need to to get the effects of the infrared light. Now, what are the effects of infrared light therapy? First of all, it increases circulation. Whenever a light ray, the infrared light ray, hits a blood vessel wall, it causes an instant release of a compound called nitric oxide. And nitric oxide causes instantaneous pop open of a blood vessel. So suddenly you have a change in circulation that's dramatic. And for tissues that don't have good circulation because they've been injured or there's been a blockage in an artery, like with a heart attack or a stroke, the areas around it, called the peri-infarction area, are able to respond to nitric oxide and increase flow to those tissues that normally may not be able to function at all, but are barely able to stay alive until you change what's happening there. It also causes a reduction in inflammation that happens very quick, quickly as well. It increases lymphatic drainage, it increases the activity of white cells so they clean up debris faster, and it has an amazing effect on nerves. It causes nerve, fiber, nerve fibers that are pain fibers to calm down and not cause so much pain. There are a wide number of conditions that are responsive to this infrared light therapy or photonic stimulation. We've done some research ourselves uh, on people who have diabetes and have painful diabetic neuropathy. And what we found, both in our clinical practice and in the study, is that you can reduce pain, you can increase sens sensation, because a lot of these people who have diabetic neuropathy have got poor circulation to the nerve, and when you increase it by putting the light on the nerves and the blood vessels that supply it, you get an instant surge in blood flow and a return in function of the nerve. A lot of times I've seen people who have had diabetic neuropathy that's painful come in on crutches or a wheelchair, and within 10 or 15 minutes of treating them, they stand up, they're walking, they've got tears in their eyes, their pain is gone, and their sensation has come back. They know where their feet are, and they don't have to look at their feet when they walk. They become functional people again. So for nerve problems that involve diabetic neuropathy, it's amazing. But there are a wide range of other conditions that you can use this light for. And in particular, we use it for people who have low back pain. I've had hundreds and hundreds of patients who I've seen over the past 10 years who've had severe back pain, who've had almost miraculous relief of their pain within minutes of putting the light therapy on their back. I can remember some stories that are shocking. One in particular was a fellow named Jason who came in at age about 32 who had had a lumbar fusion, had rods put in, then had the rods taken out, and then was referred to a pain clinic for a morphine pump. Within a few weeks, Jason was largely out of pain, and within a couple of months, he was going back to the gym. And today, about eight years later, he's married, he's got a full-time job, he's able to exercise fairly regularly. And of course, this is one of our great results, and that's part of the reason why I'm telling you about it. But there are many, many other cases where we've seen people who have sciatica that's unrelenting, that have pain that's agonizing, that won't leave, and they don't know what to do besides go to the pain clinics where they get a lot of drugs that make their life very difficult for them to manage. Cervical discs are much the same way. People have had surgeries or not had surgeries or having even pain that goes from their neck into their arms or in their hands have a tremendous improvement in a, in a large percentage of cases. I'd have to say that it'd be very unusual for somebody with a lumbar disc or a cervical disc not to improve by 50% using the infrared light therapy alone over a period of two to three weeks where it's done perhaps three times a week. So this is a godsend to people like that. Sports injuries is another tremendous area where, the, where these are really effective treatments. And we use those for sports injuries like hamstring pulls, uh, people have tennis elbows, rotator cuff uh, injuries. It's an, um, it's an amazing thing for, for sports injuries. There's hardly a kind of pain that doesn't respond to infrared light therapy. And I think that the field is promising, and my suspicion is that over the next few years, 
while the FDA is reviewing some of the results that we've published and others have published, you're going to see a shift in pain management that's big time. So if you know somebody who's using infrared light therapy, see them. Realize that it's possible they can do things that other people can't. And keep in mind that it's a great way to do an integrative approach to pain management. For example, you're not really going to solve somebody's problem if they don't have a normal alignment. So you want to include a chiropractor. You may want to include a body worker. Somebody does acupuncture or homeopathy or imagery. All these things in combination form a pain management program that's truly superior. So I think infrared light therapy makes a major addition to our armamentarium of tools that we use in pain management. If you've got the opportunity to use it, try it. I think you'll like it.